everybody, Virginia here. Um, for the ladies that signed up a while ago on the video for the embellishment swap, if you would be so kind to come back into the comment box on this video, uh, and that is Lori, Jeanette, Roseanne, Neri, and Alice, just so that I have it officially on there as well. I do apologize. I had to pull my video. It was so out of sync and it was way too long and a bit confusing and I didn't realize that at first. I apologize. So let's get started. I am going to host a holiday embellishment swap here on YouTube. We're going to make 15 embellishments. I know you seem like you think, well, wow, that's a lot of embellishment. Well, you have until um, either the uh, October 30th or November 5th. And um, if you have a partner that, say, is international, you will want to mail out by October 30th so that they get it fairly quickly. If you're, say, both of you are stateside, you'll have until November 5th. If you should make your embellishments quicker than um, then, then, please feel free to mail out right away. You will have four holidays to choose from. Halloween, fall, winter, and Christmas. Um, the only uh, one I'm really sticking to that, that has to be specific is winter. You will use the colors blue, white, and silver. The rest, of course, falls fall and, and Halloween's Halloween, but you will be in contact with your partner and go from there. Uh, examples, you know, you could do like a scary Halloween, a traditional Halloween, or a vintage Christmas, a traditional Christmas. I don't know. That's between you and your partner. So you'll discuss it with them. Winter will be specific of blue, white, and silver, and everything to go with winter. So let's get started. Uh, number one will be an altered frame, picture frame. It must have an image on the inside. You can get images pretty much anywhere on the internet. So um, you can use like say for instance a Michaels frame or if you don't live near a Michaels, a small frame from um, a thrift store, a store, dollar store. You can use a die cut frame. You can use your Cricut to cut a frame. Should you use your Cricut, you must back it with, say, transparency so that it is a little bit firmer. Now here's, I'm going to give some quick examples. So here is a Michaels frame with some stuff on it. No stamped images. It must be an image, okay? And then um, number two is an altered spoon or fork. Walmart, um, if you don't have Walmart, you can go somewhere that gives you samples or something. Um, you can get the little plastic appetizer forks um, where the plates and stuff are. If you don't have one of them, maybe you can use one of these little metal spoons. Uh, you know when you go places you can get these little souvenir spoons? You may also use a spoon that you eat with. Uh, if you get some heavy duty pliers and hold it right there and move the handle up and down, up and down, It'll break and you just bend the edge. So here's an example of an altered spoon. Number three, an altered cork. Your cork must have a hanger and a small dangle on the bottom. So see, there's a hanger. Oops. There's the altered cork and then a dangle. Number four, you're going to make a small matchbox. And when I say small, it, it's rather small. Um, for some of you that are not sure where to get these, I know near the coffee pots and, and pots and pans and stuff is where I bought mine. Now I bought mine at Walmart, but I'm sure you have stores that have them. So. Um, you don't have to decorate the back. You must alter the front. It must have a small hanger on top and a small dangle on the bottom. It is up to you whether or not you want to do a whole entire scene in there. You do not have to. 
but to make it look finished I would appreciate if you put say a piece of paper that uh, maybe some pattern paper that coordinates with your partner's theme of choice so that is the altered um, matchbox number five you will do a bottle an altered bottle now your bottle must be small enough for an embellishment whether it's like a bottle like Tim Holtz ones or I know um, and very quickly with the court oriental trading uh, is selling some right now they also sell these little bottles so whatever little bottle you can get your hands on as long as it's small enough you will alter the outside you do not have to have a hanger on it unless you want one it's up to you it must have something on the inside so say your partner wants Christmas you could put candy canes in there or winter put some uh, white glitter to look like snow very quickly let me show you this one okay um Number six, you will make a dangle charm. You have to have uh, beads on there and charms that will coordinate with the choice that your partner chose that holiday. Um, you can make it as simple or as chunky monkey as you want. Up to you. Uh, but make it look beautiful. You are going to do a stick pin. Now your stick pin Here's my example of it. Um, you could, if you don't have things like this, you could use a leaf, um, a snowflake, whatever. You can even hang a charm with the right color of beads. Uh, blue, white, and silver, and a charm of a snowflake. So one stick pin. Number eight, you're going to make a fully embellished flower. Now when I say fully embellished, your flower must be three inches across. It must have a shape of, that will coordinate with the theme that your partner chose for themselves. So like say somebody chose Halloween, you can do, and your flower can be handmade out of anything you want. You can use silk uh, little handmade flowers, up to you. But your shape, um, you can put some eyes in there, some glitter all the way around, hang a little charm or a spider. That's a fully embellished flower. Um, let me show you a quick little example. This one's for fall. You can even be a little bit more elaborate if you would like and do one something like this. See, there's my shape. But what's important is your flower. It must be three inches because you're going to do a shape here in a moment. And we'll get to that. But see, you can add a little extra if you like. Um, number nine, an altered key. Your altered key can be a house key, but no smaller than a house key. It can be a Michaels key, a chipboard key, an old skeleton key. And you will fully embellish it. And just quickly, this is what I did with this one. I mean, you'll do it any way you want. But there's an altered key. Don't make it any smaller than a house key. Number 10, you will do an art I make. Your art I make must look and have something on it that resembles the holiday that your partner chose. So say my partner wanted fall. I chose colors. Now it can't be smaller than three inches and no bigger than five inches. You could do two pieces or you could do three pieces. Now, of course, this looks like fall. It's got all the right colors and stuff. And you can make it out of anything. And uh, for this one, I used some old earrings of leaves. And then I stuck a charm of um, acorns. So your arty cake must look like that holiday. Number 11 will be a fully embellished holiday shape. And it really doesn't matter um, what shape you choose so long as the shape is different from the shape that you put behind the three inch flower. So um, you could do, um, I'm so sorry, 
like something like that, um, a leaf, a tree. You could use your Cricut and cut a uh, witch hat and put a flourish behind it. They're so, sky's the limit. Um, you could use like a, a little mitten. I missed the, the sign up last year when they were doing these. But they were so gorgeous, I just had to scrap lift and make one for myself. Uh, this one, you're going to think, wow, well, there's a big giant flower. Well, I just chose to put a big flower on there. But you can put small little flowers on a snowflake. Uh, you can put a little image, image, some bling, some little um, beads, some more snowflakes, some wheat sprays, whatever. So long as you embellish the shape. You, uh, number 12, you are going to do a paper doily, whether it is a store-bought paper doily like this. And you can get these in the baking department. Um, Walmart, Michaels, or you can cut one out of cardstock or chipboard from a die. It doesn't matter. If you should use this little tissue paper thin one, I mean, it tears so easy. If you're going to glimmer mist it, glimmer mist it first. Use your heat gun, dry it off. Then you can spray the back of it with, um, not liquid. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess liquid adhesive. And then you will glue it onto your transparency. Because if you glue this onto the transparency first, and then try to heat set it after you've sprayed it, you'll melt the transparency. So very briefly, this is what I came up with. I just threw it together. And when you put the transparency, as you can see, see this, that's the transparency back there. You know, if they glue this down, and then um, say for instance, um, they stick it on a mini album. You want this paper to be thick in case they want to use it to stick tags behind it. You know what I mean? And you can decorate it pretty much any way that you would like. Um, number 13, you're going to make a card. You do not need to be a card maker. Just a simple handmade card. Now the importance of this card is that once you've made your card, um, you, can, you will put a special holiday message in the inside to your partner. So, um, number 14, you will buy a candy bar from the store, whichever one you'd like. This is going to be a treat for your partner for the holidays. You can use cardstock, pattern paper, it doesn't matter. Uh, you'll wrap it, you can use uh, decorative scissors, punches, you, now, I put tape all the way across, but you don't need to. Just a little piece of tape to hold it together. So that way they can cut it off or peel it off and still use this as part of the embellishment um, in their book. They could tape the back back together and tape it down and use it to stick a tag in there. It must have a quote, a saying, a poem. You can use a stamp to stamp something on it. And then you know your little embellishments. Should you use a hot glue, don't put a whole bunch. You'll melt the chocolate if you choose chocolate. Um, and number 15, you are going to make a small goodie bag. Whether it is a paper, you use newspaper, a book page, uh, whatever, um, a cloth bag, a plastic bag. So long as it is not any smaller than a 3x5 or bigger than a 4x6. Inside there, now these are just going to be examples. You could put uh, some small flourishes in there or a small little stamp that coordinates. All of the things that you put in there must be able to further embellish your partner's holiday project that they choose. So say they make a mini album. 
um, you could put seam binding in the right colors that they need for that uh, project. You could put bling, um, charms, buttons, um, wheat sprays, little flowers, mesh bling, ribbon, lace, uh, pearls on a rope, flat back pearls, um, flower centers. You could put um, just about anything so long as they're embellishments to further embellish their project. So with that said, that is number 15. Um, I know that we are all on different crafting levels. All I ask is that you please put forth your a good effort to make in your embellishments. Uh, that was part of why I put uh, examples. So uh, make something that you would be proud of and something that you would like to receive in return. I also ask that this please be a drama free swap. It is my very first swap on YouTube and I'm a bit nervous. Uh, so I'd really like it to go off without a hitch. And not just that, keep in mind that it is a holiday embellishment. And usually for the holidays, we are supposed to have good cheer, you know? So I do hope that you come and sign up. Again, I apologize for my video, the first one that I had to pull off. Um, and again, ladies, if you would be so kind, I will send you a private message and ask you to come and sign up again. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night. Bye.